Good morning, everybody. So today we're going to start on some new material. Uh, it's one of the topics that I really like the best. Um, in, my, in my career, I've written, I don't know, 140-something research papers, and 25 or 30 um, are in graph theory, and probably 40, 50, 60 are <clears throat> on this topic right here. And I'm proud to say that nationally and internationally, uh, when people in the field of combinatorics think of me, they think of this subject. So uh, if, you, if you notice a little extra enthusiasm and, and joy, yes, it's honest. I really, really love this stuff. OK. So we're going to be talking about partially ordered sets. And they go by the short name posets. Don't say poset. Don't say PO set. Say poset. This is, I mean, you'll, you'll be banished if you say poset. Don't do that. Uh, a poset is a set equipped with a binary relation, this less equal sign, and it satisfies three properties. They're called respectively a reflexive property, an anti-symmetric property, and a transitive property. They're actually quite natural. And, and you've seen things like this before. So in some sense, there's nothing, nothing really new here. So you always say that any element is less equal to itself. That's called the reflexive property. X is less equal to X. Very natural. Now, the anti-symmetric property is if you have points x and y, actually the z doesn't have to be there in the statement of the second one. If you have distinct points and you have x is less equal to y and you have y less equal to x, then x equals y. Now, think about this. If I say that Bob has the same height as Harry, and Harry has the same height as Bob. Does that make Bob and Harry the same person? No. But in a partial order, in a poset, if you say x is less equal to y and y is less equal to x, then in fact you have made x and y the same object. You have made x equals y. The third property is called the transitive property. And when you have three elements, x, y, and z, if you have x less equal to y, and you have y less equal to z, then you have x less equal to z. So reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. Now, I'd like to emphasize that I've used the phrase binary relation. So let me remind you of what is a binary relation. When you have a set X, a binary relation is, all this means is that it is a subset of the Cartesian product X cross itself. So the elements of the binary relation are ordered pairs. So when we say that a partial order is reflexive, when we say it's reflexive, what we're saying is that it contains all of the pairs of the form XX. Now, just like in functions, Technically speaking, a function, going back to high school, a function is a set of ordered pairs, x, y, where y is the f of x. But that's not the way most people like to think of functions. They don't like to think of them as ordered pairs. So it's the same thing with, with posets. If you have to, and if you go back to the absolutely basic definitions, then posets are binary relations. They're sets of ordered pairs. We'll make that a little bit more concrete as we, as we go through this. But that's not the way people work with them on an everyday basis. 
All right, some additional notation. When you have a post set and you say x is less than y, all you mean is that x is less than or equal to y, but now you have distinguished x and y and you're saying they are different. An absolutely obvious notation. You can write these symbols backwards. So when you say y is bigger than x, you mean exactly the same thing as saying x is less than y. And less equal can be reversed into greater than or equal to in an absolutely obvious way. Now here are some examples of post sets. When P is a collection of sets, then your definition for the binary relation less equal is to say that X is less equal to Y when X is a subset of Y. Now, as I've indicated many times in this course, Typically, people like to use capital letters for, for sets. They talk about capital A being a subset of capital B. But there's no requirement for that. Uh, you can use any symbol you like to designate a set. So it's perfectly OK for me to use a lowercase x and a lowercase y to denote a set. And of course, that's not the notation that people used primarily when they're talking about families of sets, is it? You, you're familiar with an alternate notation where you indicate inclusion among sets. You say A is a subset, and you use the standard inclusion symbol, but you could just use less equal. All right, now, does it satisfy the three required properties? Is any set a subset of itself? Yes. Does it, that's, the, that's the reflexive property. Does it satisfy the anti-symmetric property? If you have two sets, A and B, and A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of A, does that make A equal B? Yes. Does it satisfy the transitive property? If A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C, is A a subset of C? Yes. So any family of sets becomes a poset when you place on it an order, a partial order, by inclusion. Question? <coughs> Say that again, I did. I'm not sure that I understood that question exactly. So you said that, or it says that there's no difference between, oh no, it was just the order. Yeah, just, okay. oh yeah, a, a real big difference from saying X is bigger than Y and Y is bigger than X. No, 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 big, big. Okay, second example. If you take a set of positive integers, you can say that X is less equal to Y in P when X divides Y without, remind, without remainder. Now. You've got to really understand this last sentence. Because in this post set, 15 is less than 105. Why is that? What's the quotient? Seven, I hope. Yeah, seven, OK? It divide, quotient is seven, and remainder is 0. So 15 is less than 105. 12 is less than 48, because 12 times 4 is 48. But 17 is not less than 1 billion. In this post set. In another post set, it might be. But in this one, 17 is not less than 1 billion. So when you're specifying a post set, it's like graphs. It has that same flavor. Given two objects. You want to be able to say that this one is less than this one, or this one is less than this one, or neither is less than the other. So look at 17 and 1 billion. 17 is not less than 1 billion. And in this post set, 1 billion is not less than 17. Just like graphs, you can have two vertices. Are they joined by an edge 
or not. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But with a post head, it's a little bit more subtle. Because sometimes neither is less than the other. But when there is a comparison, it will always be one way. One will be less than the other, but not the other way around. Question. I can, I can do it any way I want. You can do it any way you want. We'll have many examples where uh, they will be abstract in the sense that uh, I don't have to explain where the order comes from. It could come, it could be completely made up. It could come from a very natural setting, and many of them do. There are just tons of applications of this. Okay. 